Hey guys, Josh Spoon with The Producer's Kitchen, and this week we're going to be looking at creating a device that I made called Dual Degrade. It allows you to change the bit depth, the sample rate, and the overdrive of each individual channel. So you could have a bit depth of 7 on one side and 14 on the other. Also, if it's still March 2017, we are still on Max for Live Madness, so don't forget to go over to The Producer's Kitchen and sign up to win stuff from Surreal Machines, Isotonic Studios, and Sonic Faction. Okay, cool, so let's get started. In order to create any Max for Live device, we need to go into the Max for Live category and grab one of the three. In this one, we are gonna get the Max Audio effect. I'll click Edit. We need a couple of things to get started, so let's do Live Dial. We're going to need two of those. Let's do live slider. We're also going to need two of those. And then let's do live number box. And we're also going to need two of those. Then we're going to use an object called degrade. If I can spell. There we go. So it says signal quality. It says signal quality reducer. We're going to need two of those since this is a dual degrade. Then we're also going to need overdrive. So we're going to overdrive. So these are already built objects. Um, if you don't know C++, so all of the overdrive uh, code is all kind of in here. Um, and the degrade is all in here too. So let's look at degrade. Let's open that up. Let's see. Signal quality reducer takes any signal and reduces the sample rate and the bit, bit depth. So we have the sample rate here. So if we're at 44, 1, and we go to half, that's uh, math, uh, 22, <laughs> about, and uh, bits, 24 bit down to uh, actually, I think zero bits. So those are the inlets. And then you have the signal coming in at that first inlet. So let's right click overdrive. Let's look at this. We have the signal coming in and then the amount of overdrive one is no overdrive. And then from there up, you can go higher. You can see this is also a float. All right, cool. So we're going to take these two signal patch cords, and we're going to run them into degrade, into overdrive. And let's take this one. Whoop. Get rid of that. Degrade that one into overdrive. And then I'm going to use move this plug out down here. Get rid of all of this. And one last thing to make sure that we don't blow our eardrums out, we're going to put a peak limiter on there. Since we're going to be degrading and overdriving, there's a huge chance you could clip horribly. So this peak limiter will help you out. Let's just straighten this out. So I selected everything here. All right, over here. So this is gonna go to overdrive. These two are gonna go to degrade, degrade, overdrive. All right, cool. And I'll just make this look cute. There you go. Let's save this while we're at it, just in case there's a crash or anything like that, or we forget later and for some reason it's not working. Dual degrade uh, toot. So let's look at these and let's see. I don't remember what the values are. So we have 
0 to 1. And we have 1 to 24. So let's put these boundaries on this guy. We have inspector. And let's include in presentation so we don't have to come back. And let's do 0 to 1. And was this, this was a float, right? Yes. So we'll change this guy. We'll change this guy. That's float, unit style, float. So it'll display float and actually send out a number of float. All right, so let's drag that there. And then here we've got a float as well, and this is um, that was one to twenty four. Actually, that was not a float, these are ints because bits are not, bits can't float. All right, so that goes in there. Actually, let's toss this. I could have just made one and then duplicated the whole th chain. That would have been easier, but we started this way and now we're here. So I'll toss that guy, if I can get a hold of him, drop that in there, boom, 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 let's go back to my room, got so many song references people, alright, just locked it, there we go, by mistake, so we're going to select these others, and then we'll right click, add to presentation. So now they're all ready to go, add to presentation, all on. All right, so they're all hooked up. We'll do more add to presentation junk later, but right now, let's just make sure it works. So I'm going to take this live tile and turn it, let's do like seven bits on this side, nine bits on this side, down sampled almost halfway, a little bit over halfway, and then this side is a little bit of overdrive, and then this side is a little bit more. All right. So let's play the track. isn't connected. So now let's see. So you can see that it's kind of going crazy, but with the peak limiter in there, um, you can kind of tame everything and it won't go over the top. Cool, now that we got everything set up, we know it works. Let's save it again real quick. Save as often as you can. So right click, 
route patch cord. I'll just scoot this guy over a little bit. Now you can start to style. So let's do a prototype. And I'm going to do panel. It might crash. Still need to update. All right, cool. So that is, so let's skip that. You have different prototypes you can use. For some reason, a mind panel acts very strange. But in the final version, you can see that there's a panel on there. So I'm going to right click inspector all. We go here and just give it names. So this is um, sample rate. Just going to name the same thing here. And this guy is Actually, we need to go back, name this correctly. So when you're automating, you can know the difference. So it's left. And then this is it, depth, left, copy, paste. And since I've already typed that in this one, I'm going to do the depth. I'll change that to R. The depth, change that to R. Sample rate. As you can see, I'm just doing lowercase. I'm trying to save you guys time watching this. So, a little bit of time saved, just keeping everything lowercase. Cool. And then this is oh, overdrive L or D L let's say over drive R O D R Cool, so now let's set these up. And I didn't do add to presentation for the whole project. All right, cool, so that's saved. Put that there. Let's do a live line, so just a straight line, dividing the two of these. We'll do five. Let's color this. So I have colors that I use often, um, but you can choose a color. And then if you want to save it there, you can just drop it in here. And as you make your colors for your theme, for your devices, they could all have a similar theme by just putting some swatches right here. But I'm just going to choose... Actually, this blue right here. I'm not going to super style this, but just so you can see a little bit of some of the options. Go in there and kind of play around. Line this up. So 
can put a comment L. Format C sixteen. Copy that. And I'll do panel. This will be the background. I could do command. The one that shows up when I click on it. It's a lot of stuff. So you do that. Bring this in. And choose a gradient. And I'm going to choose this guy. Choose this guy. And I can go in and style these to where they're opposite what what the background is. But for the sake of time, it's going to leave this. I've shown you how to get in and start styling things through either the format or inspector and change your colors here. So now lock, freeze, everything. Don't forget to set device width. Save. So as you can see, I'm able to automate everything just as I am in any other Ableton Live device. It makes it really easy to customize effects where usually in live you'd have to make a rack and then handle everything separately. You can route things however you want. You could route things in multiple places. Um, if I wanted to, I could bypass one of these. I could have it not degrade. I could have a degrade on off. I could have a overdrive on off on here as well. So it can be as complex as you want it when you have the ability to build things from the ground up. I hope building dual degrade or watching me build dual degrade has helped you understand uh, audio inside of Max for Live and has made you a nice cool device, maybe giving you ideas to make an even cooler uh, dual degrade. I'm Josh Prim with the Producers Kitchen and remember always be creating.